how random is random? That's a strange question, maybe, but let's see what uh, what I mean with this question. I'm gonna print here some random numbers. Print random 100. I'm gonna use print ln, so we get it on a different line. And I'm gonna print that two times. And I'm also going to print noise of 100. Noise and noise. So we have two times random and two times noise. And let's see here on the bottom, what do we get? So the first two values, you can see they are different, 82 and some decimals and 70. And every time I run the program, they are different, 95, 65, and 14, 76. And the last two lines are equal because we, ha as we have seen before, if we called noise with the same parameter, then we get the same random number. So we're getting now 0.16, but every time we start the program, we get a different one, point 71, point 48. So in some cases, we want to have the same sequence of random numbers. So if we type here, random seed and some number, like one, two, three, four, we will get the same random values each time we run the program. So now it's 64 and 25 with some decimals. And every time I start the program, we get exactly the same numbers, 64, 65, 25, 97. The noise function is giving different values. It's 0 0.61, 0 0.72, because the noise function uses another function called noise seed. And we can also type here, one, two, three, four, or it doesn't matter which number, one, one, one. Now, every time we, we start the program, we're gonna get the same noise values also. So it's 0 0.70, 586, and again, 0 0.70, 586. So you might wonder, what's the point on getting the same numbers? I mean, isn't the purpose of random and noise just to have random values? Well, sometimes it can be useful. And let's see one example of that. I'm gonna make a program that will fill the screen with rectangles. So I'm gonna say here, uh, int x is zero. And I'm gonna say while x is less than the width of the screen. Here, now instead of using x equals x plus one, I'm gonna add some random width. So let's generate here a random integer value, int we like width equals, I'm gonna say int, and inside the int I type random and from 100. So now the variable wi, we, is a random number between zero and one. And I'm gonna increase x that amount. So width is the, we is the width. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle. And then I'm gonna increase x by that amount. The rectangle is gonna be positioned at x and at the top of the screen, x comma zero. And the width of the rectangle is going to be that variable, we, and the height of the screen. We should add some random colors, otherwise all the rectangles are going to be equal. So I'm going to say here, fill, and random from 100, comma, 80, comma, 80. And let's set here the size of our program and the color mode, hsp, comma, 100. So then these values here, this is the hue value for the fill, the saturation, and the brightness. So what are we getting right now? Okay, I'm gonna remove those black lines. Maybe it looks better. No stroke. So here we have this program that generates these random squares. They are all, every time we start a program, they are different. What if we would like to generate this image again? Of course, we could save the image as a to the disk as a JPEG image or PNG. But what if I want to generate this from scratch? I could use the random seed function and with a number here, one, two, three, four. And uh, now if I run the program, I'm gonna get this picture and it's always gonna be the same. It is random, the widths of these rectangles are random, the colors are random, but they are always the same. One way we could use this is, instead of typing here, one, two, three, four, I could generate a random seed. So I'm gonna type here, int seed equals int random and some big number. So we have a 
I don't know how much how much is that is that 10 million so a number between 0 and 10 million and I'm gonna use this seed here and I, I'm also going to print it so I'm gonna print seed so now I can run the program it's gonna be different every time and we can see the seed down here and let's imagine I like this one so this one is 7221906 if I would type this number here, 7221906, then I will always get this exact image. So instead of saving the image, I could also maybe copy this number and say, here, I like these ones. And I just save the number. Then I restore this if I want to generate new random ones. And when I find another one I like, maybe that one, then I could save the, the number. It may not sound as something really useful at this point, but sometimes you might want to be able to generate the same sequence of random numbers, or numbers generated by the random function or the noise function. So now you know that you can use this random seed or noise seed in, in case you are using the noise function. So you can generate the same random Im image again and again. And you could maybe even, if you're working with someone, then you could say, hey, try number 2706501. And then they could see what you mean instead, instead of sending the whole picture. You could now go back to the program we created where we are generating these random poems or sentences and use these three lines in that program. So you could generate a seed, a random seed, and you print it and then you use random seed and then when you find an interesting sentence you could just write down the number and then you would be able to generate that sentence again just typing the number here inside the random seed 